Hello everybody, and welcome back to an episode of Crispy TV, and today, we're back in my bagel paradise, my lovely Minecraft Let's Play world, and today, we're building something that you should build when you normally start a new world. I haven't really done that, and I'm dead. No, I'm not, I'm alive. But what do we normally do? You normally build, like, a, if a more mob loot, it's good for mob loot, so you can actually get, like, ow. You can get dogs and stuff. So that's what you really want to get, and that's a mob spawner. That's what I'm going to be building today. But I'm not going to use conventional materials that you normally use if you build one, like... It's ice? No, not ice. But not conventional materials, like cobblestone and that rubbish materials. I did say I was going to actually use... I think last episode I said it. I was going to use the materials that I've seen in, in the underwater temples. So I'm going to be using these materials. And I gathered loads. I went, tra I went all... I tra went traversing around my world. And like just destroy. Why well, have I got? I still got my iron armor. You know what we can do? Look, I'll, I'll show you from the start. So basically, last year I went traversing around my area and I went to nearly every single underwater temple and just destroyed it all. Not there's nothing left of the places, which is a bad because I don't have the place. But I did that so I could actually get some good loot. Why well, have I got four chests? I only need two. So this is what you need to do. You need to add that, and then. See, I haven't built a mob spawner ever, like, the ever, I haven't built one, which is weird, isn't it? I've played Minecraft for how many years? I think, why am I fly? I think, see, I always swear, I was a fly. I never know why I ever have it on. I mean, I always do to take the, the thumbnails, but I think I always forget, I think I always forget to put it back off. Actually, I might as well use it. Did I do this wrong? Yeah, I did this wrong. You want to jo join there? Not jo join, jump there. You want to drop there? So let's go to this again. It should be breaking pretty quick. Would it be easy to punch my fist? Hello, are you going to break? Thank you. So basically what we need to do is push that back, put the hopper, these first, then the hopper. So basically, it would be basically automated, so I wouldn't have to actually be here. I've got so much rubbish. Put that on there. Get rid of my armor. I'll put this back in the chest. This is what's bad when I have so much stuff. I need my donkey back. I always always bring my donkey because it's much, much, much quicker just to actually bring it. And then connect that one to that one. I mean, I'll t I could test it afterwards to see if it works. It doesn't really need to actually check yet. So let me add this in there. I mean, obviously no mobs actually drop these. Go to these boots. And then we can actually start to actually build the mob trap. So you see, this is what it's going to be, be like. So what I need to do, I think... I haven't actually built one of these in forever. Actually, I haven't built one at all, so... <laughs> I said in forever. But I've actually built one to actually test how to make it. What am I doing? I actually built one to test how to build it. So I've got a rough idea how I'm going to build this one. That's what I was trying to say before my English just thought, nope, no Chris, no, nope, no English for you. No, nope. no, you cannot do it. Do I put that there? So you can basically, you can whack them and they do survive, but then that'd be there. What am I doing? I'm not, I'm being a mess here. So I think you need to build this, was it 26 high up? So how many am I, I forget it. I'm just going to build from that spot, so this is be free. Can I build it? No, I can't. It'd be easy for us to do this. I might do. I might do like the power of editing and actually just do one row and then do the rest of the hoist. That'd be easy, wouldn't it, really? So let's say that one, two, three, four, five. And that'd be six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. So I could jump back down, not matter. I mean, you may think it's going to look ugly when I look at my window over there. It'll look ugly over here. But I am going to build, probably off screen, I don't know off screen or on screen, I'm going to build a, a, a pretty cool looking princess kind of tower thing, like a tower or something similar to that. So it'll look like a princess tower and there's a pre like pretend the princess is in there, like she needs help. But really, it's just a mob spawner. I mean, it's going to look ugly because it's going to have like two, ma four massive sticky out things. It's going to be like a massive square on the bottom. So yeah, with the power editing, I guess I'll see you guys when it's fully finished. Welcome back. And the editing's finished, obviously, because I've put it in there. But the, I mean, not editing, the actual terror thing's finished. And what I think, if you're wondering why I'm here in the Night of the Rain table, it's because it's basically like, it's basically like Stampy's lovely god, love garden. So it's saying lovely garden. It's basically like Stampy's love garden, but instead of the way he does it, I'm going to actually do it. So basically, it, it, I like the concept, the way he does that. I'm going to basically add the one I know the most loyal subscribers who've been there for ages, always commenting, or they have been always commenting, or always there, and I know they mostly watch all my videos. So the first person I'm adding is Isaac E. And basically, he's been here since pff, about seven, eight months now. 
probably something like that, eight, no, eight, nine months, or episode 20, 30, that's where he was. So I'm adding him. And I mean, I will be adding more subscribers, I know, and active, and I know are there. So you, you can't just really ask, can I, be, can I be in your night garden? No, that's not the point. You have to actually, you actually have to do, do, be there a lot, basically be on my channel a lot, and then you can get a chance to be here. Because I think that'd be pretty cool. So, so it shows that I actually do know you guys watch, and I do know you comment. comment. And that's all it really is. So there will be a new, another one every time I do that. And it's not really copying off Stampin's Love Garden. It's more like Chris's Night Garden. <laughs> Instead of me walking there, I might actually fly. It'd be quicker. And then I'll get off there. As you can see, I'm actually, I've got an idea instead. I don't know if you guys more, much more prefer this. Is actually build, like, a little, do like a little competition. Not really competition. Like, build a skin around this instead. Like, so it'd be brought by hours. And it'd be like, one of you guys' skin. That's what it would be like. I'd be able to skin around the actual mob trap. So it could be any of you guys. You just need to leave a, a comment and why it should be your skin. And actually send me a picture of your skin. So that could be like through Google, through Twitter, Facebook, or even YouTube. I don't know, YouTube can do it. But then that's, I'd love to build like when your skin here. So whoever wins that will have their skin here. Do you get what I mean? So do I know what to do here? I don't have a clue. But I think you have to build another seven out. So that'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the thing is, I think I can actually build a skin in this actual thing. I mean, I might have to edit it, not edit it, but get rid of the, the back, and make it a bit hollow through the back. But I reckon I can, I can build a, feet, a skin. So do you reckon I should build a hotel? Not a hotel, a tower, or one of you guys' skin, whoever's watching this, skin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's eight. I need to do this for every single one. So this would be... I need to build these up. Not, yeah, yeah, I'm not I'm, what I'm doing. I would say I'll be back, but this would be pretty quick. So, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I've realised I'm actually on my own for a while. I've been on my own for like last couple of episodes. I haven't had nobody join me, like normally Nathan or Jimmy Proton. I have no one with me. I've got no helpers. It's, it's just literally all me do building everything. Which I'm doing pretty alright. I mean, it's mostly been exploring for the last couple of episodes. Because you guys wanted to see more exploring, more. Original Minecraft stuff instead of me keep repeatedly building. I mean, this is a building, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm just with me really building, but this is essential. I can actually get some mob loose instead of me keep going around smacking everybody. What I might do with this is add the other material which I brought. I brought this material. I mean, I don't really like it compared to the other one. But it's, it, I need to use. I don't like contrast, so I might actually make the top. I might make the top. I might just do the insides like this. Yeah. And I think you build this out. Will that be the wall? I figured I'll do, if it looks weird, I'll just change it anyway off screen. I just want to do this first. So I think that's where the water goes. And then the water leads to this spot. And I think if it doesn't, you can actually use water. I'll be actually building the box out screen so you won't see that. Because you have to build like a box around it and make it pretty. If you want to actually end them into spawn and put it free high. But they can actually mess it up a bit. I don't know. I don't think they can. Because they won't actually go into the water. So I'm going to build it too high instead of free. Because if you build it too high, they won't fall down, will they? Because I hate water, so they won't fall down. Well, I might make it free on high anyway, just in case an enderman drops and I can get some more ender pearls. Because I know you can make a specific ender, ender port, not ender thing, an ender spawner. Not an ender mob tra trap, not spawner, a mob trap. So I might do like one of them in the, in the future. The next episode, we're going to actually build like something, probably not exploring. I might do another exploring episode, like a mining episode, sometime. But for, for next episode, we're going to build. And then I'll probably do, like, a, a mining one. If you guys want to see that, would you rather see... Look, I need to keep asking this, so I can get the interest. Would you rather see me build more, or mine, or explore? I know some people like exploring, some people like mining. I mean, I love exploring as well. But then, when you explore so much, it's not really the most interesting. So I need to add two of these, each one. Please say this works. Nope, I need to add like a, a sign. Were they still four? That's, I can't really check. They should still four, like, let's just still push them. And they, there's only one way, and that's down there. Oh, should good job I got still fly on. I know I got fly on. I know it was cheating, let's say. But this is just, just so you don't actually have to wait. Does he care about the signs? I mean, if he doesn't get nothing, it doesn't get nothing. But the, uh, mob traps should still work. I think, I thought, oh no, they made the water different, didn't they? They made the water, so basically it it doesn't really go finger. Oh, he's had signs on every single one of them walls as well, so they actually drop down. Or is it one above? 
haven't actually built a Mops Warner. Anyway guys, I'll be back once I've actually built the box and everything. I'm not going to show you the inside and everything the way it looks. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Welcome back for the final time. <laughs> it took me forever to build this little box because I didn't realise how much materials it would actually take. I mean, I had enough. I mean, I got this much. And for the, t the sake of testing this, I mean, okay, dark. Wait, let me put this on. Look how dark it is inside. They should spawn, shouldn't they, these mobs? I mean, it's really dark. So that for the sake, I've actually not tested it yet. I mean, I changed this, put these here so they actually think they can walk over it. Because science, if you didn't know, mobs can think they can walk over them, so they'll drop straight into there. I mean, spiders may be a bit different because, you know, it's two gap. So for the sake of it, I actually changed that as well. So instead of putting them there, put them there. So they actually, I think enough should be able to fall down. So should we try? For the sake of the video, see if it works. Because if it doesn't work, then it's a waste of my time. <gasps> Geronimo! Did it work? My stuff dropped. My stuff dropped. And you're sitting on, you're not Tigger, <laughs> and you can't sit on the bed. What are these dogs doing? Come on, on the, the spikes, not spikes, slimes. We need it there, so hopefully I think it worked. I mean, it killed me, which I think should be able to kill mobs, unless they've got high health. What's in here? Sponge. Who placed that there? So I, I didn't place it. Who placed sponge in there? <laughs> I don't know. So look, it's a bit, it looks, it looks sick to be fair. I mean, I may add a lock of skin. Oh, I should have had a skin sitting on it, on the top. Look, sit on the top, leaning down. I mean, I had to add torches on the top because mobs would spawn on the top and I want them to spawn inside, not on top. So let's go check it. It looks sick, though. That's my first ever mob spawn spawner built and I've recorded it. What I need to do, though, is add... Oh, my XP, I forgot. Oh, it worked, look. <laughs> my mob spawner works. So what I need to do, you can add these on the top so there's no chance spiders can get on and watch. It still drops. That's pretty sick, isn't it? You can add them on top. So anyway, guys, that's the end of this episode. Look at that darkness, though. Something I need to add here. I don't want them to spawn down here. I might add torches around this area so they can't actually spawn. Because the shade brings out mobs. So you need to have a certain light levels. If you have don't, then mobs will spawn. And I'll collect my stuff in a bit. I just want to test it out. See, Look how sick it looks, though. It does look nice. Can I fly? I can fly. Thank you. So I can actually show you guys. Look at it. I mean, it isn't the prettiest thing, is it? It's just like a box on top of a thing. But I'll probably build like a, a skin around it or on top of it, like sitting over. I think it'd be pretty cool. But you guys need to tell me if you want to, what whose skin, like yours, your friends, or anybody's. I'd love to add somebody's skin, and I will be adding more people to the night garden now. For people who are now been here for ages and active subscribers, so thank you. Let me drop back down and don't die, Chris. We don't want you to die. So thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoyed this episode. I mean, this is suggested by you guys do more original Minecraft stuff that you would do. So next episode I'll probably go mining or build something, I don't know yet. I might have somebody else join with me as well. So thank you guys for watching, if you did enjoy this video, don't, don't forget to leave a big thumbs up because it tells me you guys enjoy it and it gives me motivation to see that you guys enjoy it. So like I always say, awesome guys, deserve awesome days. So have an awesome day and stay awesome. Fuller.